Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two. This is your daily go get a number two hundred and fifty-three for June fifteenth, two thousand and fifteen. Alright, today I really want to talk about things that you need, like you need a hole in your head. But I kind of want to, you know, go off of that a little bit. I'm gonna talk about that though. Like, first of all, when you say that you need something like a hole in the head, or like you need a hole in your head, that's something the old heads would always say, meaning that you really don't need something that you are getting, asking for, or doing. So it's like, let's say you, you as a man, you've already been struggling to pay your child support, and you already had like four or five kids by four or five, you know, um, baby moms or something like that. You already, maybe you've already... Um, um, done a little time for being in arrears for whatever reason and you got another girl pregnant so that would be like your fifth or sixth baby mom you need another child like you need a hole in your head you understand where we're going with this so you know and and on the other side like if you a woman and you you have a few baby fathers and maybe you've been having problems getting support from them whether that's financial support or just regular spending time and, and being a being a father child rearing support and now you're pregnant by another dude that you suspect is not going to represent you need another baby like you need a hole in your head you know anybody that's had that's had trouble with the law you're going back and forth to court you need another court case like you need a hole in your head you, you see what i'm saying like anything that you do if you are in over your head with it if you are knee deep in it and and you are handling more than you can handle really you know you're biting off more than you can shoot you need some more of that like you need a hole in your head you know think about those things for your own life think about the things that you need like like you need a hole in your head like if you've been having problems with your car you know what i'm saying and you uh, or, or you haven't been able to maintain it or something like that like you need some more car problems like you need a hole in your head a lot of us are are um are really really stacked to the hilt with bills so we need another we need another bill another charge like we need a hole in our head you know what I mean like whatever whatever you're doing in ex excess whatever you are doing to the point where you can't handle it where you can't manage it I mean manage it if you get another one of those things then you need that like you need a hole in your head and think about what you talk about when you say uh, having a hole in your head what you gonna do with a hole in your head a hole in your head means either somebody has bashed your skull in, or you shot, or shot you, or you sh um, shot yourself. So you, all your blood is gonna leak out. I don't want to get all morbid with it, but I mean, I mean, I'm not showing y'all or teaching y'all something that you don't already know. So you don't wanna, you you wanna keep your life at a manageable level, and it's not always easy to manage your life, but you gotta do the best that you can with what you're working with, and the best thing that you're working with is some common sense. You gotta use some sense when whenever you're dealing in your everyday dealings. You know, whatever whatever it is that you do, you know when you're doing too much and when you're not doing enough. You might not share that with other people or maybe you haven't been taught that you can't handle more than you can basically manage. You know, but you, you start to learn that after a while when you can't save any money or, you, or st things start getting around, uh, um, getting, um, getting past you, you're missing appointments. You know, people are counting on you and, and they're starting to lose faith in you because you can't make appointments and dates and stuff like that. Your life is unmanageable and you need to get it to the manage to a manageable level. So it's really simple and plain. It's not it's not that big of a deal. It ain't that it ain't that big of a deal. Only reason I'm doing the, the video on the inside today is because it's hot outside. You know what I mean? It's hot outside. So I'm like, nah, man, chill. Chill. You know? I just want to share one thing with y'all, a little small thing that happened to me today. And, you know, it's a small thing. At my job, they have an exercise room. And a lot of people's job, they have a you know, nice, nice little gym there, or exercise room, workout room or whatever. And there was these two colleagues um, in, in a workout room, and I over, overheard a conversation between them. I guess they was battling, you know, challenging each other, whatever. But one, of them, one man says to the other dude, he says to him, Yo, man, you know what I mean? Your body ain't really all of that. You be sucking in that gut. And dude, like, so what? You know what I mean? So what? I be sucking in my gut. You know what I mean? Whatever. So they, they going back and forth with each other. And I start thinking about it. If you 
have a gut that's small enough for you to still be able to suck it in without without it still sticking out, then that's some all right gut. That's good gut. That means you are still at a manageable level. If your gut is to the point where it's it's falling over, it's, it's, it's hanging down, let me let me make it a little easier for y'all. Men, if your stomach is so big that you have not seen your dick in a long time, like if you can't see your dick without a mirror, you need to have your stomach get bigger like you need a hole in your head. It's the same thing with, with, with women. There are some women out here who have a stomach so big that they can't see their pussy. You should be able to see your pussy if you're a woman without the use of a mirror. Of course you can. I mean, I'm not saying you should be able to go up in there and look at it, but you should be able to see uh, where, where, where you're shaving. You should be able to shave without without a mirror. I'm not judging nobody. I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. What I'm saying is we can all improve on some levels, but we don't need somebody coming coming through and telling us that the the steps that we are doing aren't good enough. And I felt some kind of way about the dude telling the, the other dude that, you know, like he, his body ain't all of that. He because he's sucking his gut. We all suck in our gut. As a matter of fact, it's good to suck in your gut because you work your stomach muscles. You know what I'm saying? You know, the more um, gut you can eliminate, the better your immune system, and you actually add years to your life by doing that. So it's a good look. So you don't need more exercise like you need a hole in your head. Just remember that. Speaking of exercise, come down to the Urban Therapy with Sun Spring Cleaning event this Saturday. Bring your father. It's, it's the day before Father's Day, man. I want, I want men to come to this event. I want them to come so bad and work out. You know what I mean? Bring your fathers, though. We can make it a festive event. We can make it a bonded thing, man. Fathers are very important in people's lives. And if your father is still alive or your father figure is still alive, bring him down. If you live in the Philadelphia area, bring him down to the park and have him walk with us and talk with us, man. And believe me, if you do that, if you bond with, 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 with your father like that, believe me, man. Those, those are the things that are worth way more than money, because those are the things that money can't buy. Wissahickon Avenue and Rittenhouse Street, 10 a.m., June 20th, 2015. The Urban Therapy People's Son Spring Cleaning Event. We saving lives out there. We changing lives out there, and it's serious. So if you got a gut to lose, because I got one, if you got a gut to lose, come come, come work on that thing. We're not, we not working you till you die or whatever. We're just making sure you can feel it. But this goes for all fitness levels. And this is not just for fathers, but I do want to focus mainly on, on the men for this event because the, the ladies always come out and they always enjoy themselves. We need the men to come out too and have y'all enjoy yourselves. If you come out one time, you're guaranteed to come again because it's nice. All right, good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind, and anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. Remember, you need your life to be unmanageable like you need a hole in your head. So it's, it's bigger than just diet, diet, exercise, good sex, money in your pocket, and all of that. All of that stuff goes towards your health, though. That's physical health, mental health, emotional health, financial health familial health, community, communal health, everything that works right is healthy. Think about that. And be healthy, yo. We're going to help. Anything we can do, we're going to do it. That's why we drop these bombs and these jewels on you every single day. That's what it is. And I say we because it's not just me. I'm sure that the words are coming from my mouth, but I'm doing it for us because I have people behind me that believe in this shit. <laughs> it is what it is. And we ain't going in your pockets. That's how you know it's real. Spring cleaning event this Saturday, June 20th, 2015, 10 o'clock a.m. Rittenhouse Street, Wister Hicken Avenue. Get with us. And I holler at y'all tomorrow. Peace. You know what I'm saying? I said, I holler at y'all tomorrow. Peace. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? When I'm, you know, when me and my peoples. Now, man. Oh shit, I gotta go.
I got a pop.